Hail Pandawans and journeymen walking that illustrated path. So in case, uh, in case some of you don't know, last Friday on the 10th of November, remember, remember the 10th of November, <laughs> uh, I announced on my Twitter and my Instagram and my Facebook and all my little, you know, teenage, teenage uh, kid sites that I keep in contact with the youths, uh, I announced that I had uh, retired and stepped down from my beloved day job at Blizzard Entertainment and as senior art director. And now I'm walking the illustrated path as a, a, a Ronin artist, Have something I haven't done in, well, really ever, because I started at Blizzard when I was 21, and that was my first job kind of in the industry. I mean, I had done artwork for myself and for my D and D groups and things like that, but never really professionally. But so this is the first time stepping away. And what, what am I now? 53. Yeah. So I had basically, uh, you know, I'd been at Blizzard for 32 years. And so, you know, I had a lot of people online giving great well wishes and, and not too many people were, were upset about it or negative about it or anything like that, which was great. Um, but yeah, I thought I would share kind of the reasons why I stepped away. And, and then, you know, if you're listening for, for juicy gossip and drama, there's unfortunately none of that. Um, you know, that had nothing to do with, you know, of the Microsoft deal or had nothing to do with Activision or anything like that. It was, well, basically it had to do with, with my pops, my dad. So a few years ago, my dad, uh, passed away. And he was, you know, almost 78, so pretty good amount of time. Could have always, could have been longer, of course. Love you, Pops. Um, but I remember when he passed away, it, it got me thinking. It's like, well, if my dad and I have the same sort of genes, well, my dad was 6'1", so he had actually, his genes are a lot longer than, than mine. And the waist was a little bigger, too. But, <laughs> but no, if my dad and I have, like, basically the same genes... You know, will I be passing away at the, you know, the age of 78? And like I said, I'm 53. So figure that out. That's, you know, that's 25, 25 years, right? So if I have 25 more years, what do I want to work on? You know, obviously I could, I could keep working on the things like, like I do at work, you know, working on stuff like Warcraft, Starcraft, you know. Diablo, all these different games that I've worked on for literally decades. Uh, I think, God, I think Warcraft's coming up on its, geez, 30th anniversary in a, in a few more years too. So it's like, I could, I could keep working on that. Um, but then I also think like, what, what more really could I do that I haven't already kind of contributed to? I remember this with, with the Warcraft movie. You know, they had said, hey, do you want to do some concepts for the Warcraft movie? And I'm like, what's wrong with the, you know, hundreds of concepts I've done already for Warcraft? You can use those. Uh, there's not really a reason for me to work on it other than it'd be cool to say I worked on a, the Warcraft movie. But, yeah, I didn't really want to. I've, I've already done that. Right. So that's kind of how I was thinking. You know, when my dad passed away and I was thinking about what I want to spend the next 25 years on. And it's like, OK, well, you know, I know a lot of, you know, and some of you have actually purchased a bunch of my uh, my work. Blizzard had this fantastic program called Side Projects. And what that allowed the artists and engineers and anyone, basically anyone at Blizzard, any, it allowed them to work on their own personal projects. And, and you know, as long as it's not doing something like. You know, I'm, make, I'm making a StarCraft lunchbox or something like that. You know, as long as it didn't have to do with Blizzard IPs, they were cool with us. Basically, you know, people even worked on games and, and, and apps and stuff like that. And I got to work on books. You know, I worked on illustrated novels. So I, it, I think it was 2017. I had uh, actually two of my side projects came out. One was called Grimbeard Tales of the Last Dwarf, which was basically about the last dwarf in the world, in a world ruled by elves. <laughs> uh, and the one after that was The Last Winter, which was an illustrated novel, which 
basically is just Viking pandas. So <laughs> it's one of my favorite things I worked on. It was so fun. Um, and then after that, I think a year or so later, uh, Strange Highways came out with my, uh, my buddy Mickey. Uh, and that's basically, you know, Kill Bill meets Circus Freaks. So, and it's you know, done in a black and white style, like a la Bernie Wrightson and a uh, little tribute to him. And what else? Oh, yeah. Like I did my How to Draw book, which, you know, which was a cool, a bunch of mythical uh, creatures. I did some step by steps how to draw. And then then also came out uh, Brutal, the Art of Samwise, which was like a big old 300 page um, art book. Just, you know, all my art that I've done over the course of my life. Um, so I've, I've been totally enjoying doing these side projects. And um, yep, oh, forgot, I've got one coming out too next year called Skinner. Uh, graphic uh, novel, horror graphic novel, basically dealing with uh, um, like six internet celebrities get, you know, win a trip to go to a, you know, a, a, a survival guy, you know, in the wilds for the, for the week or whatever. And of course things go lovely for him, <laughs> but that'll be coming out next year too. But I guess what I was, uh, sorry, getting back to it, it was like, I really enjoy working on what I do at work, you know, but I guess what I really enjoy working on too is my own worlds. Like, you know, I've told you all many times, like, you know, stop living in other people's worlds, create your own. And, you know, I, I felt like I was doing that with, with Blizzard because these were worlds that we came up with on our own and created them. They were ours, but you know, it's really not ours, you know, it's Blizzard's, it's not mine. So do I want to spend another, you know, the next 25, 30 years working on these worlds again, but I've already contributed so much to them. Do I want to work on things like, you know, the, the next blizzard universe, or do I want to work on the next Sammy verse or whatever that would be? Right. Or basically just, you know, the things that I create that I can, you know, leave to my kids. They can, uh, they can, you know, do with them as they please when I'm gone. And, you know, I'm not trying to make this sound morose or anything. I don't, I'm not like consumed about death is imminent or anything like that. But I just had that kind of, um, that realization. It's like, well, shit, dude, you've got less 25, you've got 30 something years, 32 years of blizzard. And now you got 25 left for yourself. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, go gung ho and work on my own worlds. And that was the real reason. Uh, wasn't anything negative about the company, love the company, love the games we're working on. You know, we just had some really cool games come out recently, you know, <clears throat> pardon me guys. Sorry about that. Um, you know, what was kind of sad though, uh, when, uh, I made the announcement, uh, and I kind of forgot about this. Some people were saying like, well, what happens to elite Torrent chieftain? And I'm like, Oh, that's right, because I was the last uh, member of Elite Torrent Chieftain at Blizzard. All the other guys, they're, well, I think they're all over, basically. Um, most of them are doing uh, Dreamhaven, or, and the company's, you know, right beneath them. And then I know um, another one is off working on his own uh, stuff with another friend of ours. But yeah, that was pretty, uh, I was like, oh, wow, that was, uh, that's right. Well, I mean, the great thing is, is ETC lives on in the game. And, of course, through its CDs that have been, uh, you know, released. <laughs> I think that's so funny. For for a band that has, you know, I guess, arguably well-known enough that people know it's we've never released a CD. We've never done anything like that. So, who knows? Maybe now with uh, this... this free time. And so that, that's the thing too. When I, I put, I'm retiring from Blizzard because I'm, I'm not leaving it. I'm still going to be doing some work for Blizzard. Uh, maybe not directly, but, you know, working with companies that, you know, either maybe doing some Hearthstone cards or maybe doing things with upper deck, like those Arthas prints I did for BlizzCon. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Go to my Twitter page. You can see the two versions, but Apparently, everyone really loved them. They sold out, and I remember when I was working on them, it was great because I hadn't worked on Arthas probably since maybe Warcraft three times. I'm, I'm not sure, but, you know, it was really great putting a little bit of time and effort into those those big old pretty prints. So, anyways, that's the low-down Pandawans. Uh, 
fear not, I'm not retiring from art. I'm just retiring from Blizzard. And I will remember, I will remember my ABCs, for I will always be creating. Hail! Oh, and now watch me fight the user interface to try to get my name into the corner. <laughs> Cheers and beers, everyone. Talk to you later.